Hi, Elaine Marilakos Hedelson with Astrology Channel ETC, and we are talking about Mars entering the sign of Capricorn. And I want you to think back, look back into your calendars. Mars is in transverses through a sign approximately every two years uh, or year and a half. So we are now November, October, November 2014. Two years ago, in November of 2012, Mars was also in Capricorn. If you have calendars, if you have um, photographs of that time, I want you to just go back a little bit down memory lane and think about who you were at the time. What were you experiencing? Because we, we, you know, the planets show us the cycles. They don't do anything to us. They don't make us behave a certain way, but they show us our own cycles. And we repeat things and we repeat things until suddenly, you know, like in the movie Groundhog Day, you, you suddenly realize it's you that's going to do the changing. It's not anything around you. Uh, you know, nature, yes, but other than that, it's you that's going to do the changing. So who were you about two years ago when Mars was also in the sign of Capricorn? And if you were denying yourself pleasure, or if you were building something and trying to remove the pleasure and the denial, then now is when you're going to see uh, forward motion in a much greater capacity. So think about that and, you know, uh, I, I don't know actually if Mars was in Capricorn about 25 years ago, I can go back and check, but I was having a big temper tantrum and I went hiking, it was uh, somewhere in New Jersey, and up, the borderline of New Jersey and upstate New York, and I went with a couple of friends and there was a, a river just like the one that's behind me. And so I knowingly, having this temper tantrum, I knew I had to get it out and water is so conducive to letting things go, showers, baths, drinking water, pools, swimming. And I knew I was gonna be near a river and it was freezing. <laughs> so I put on my bathing suit and it was autumn. It was warm but chilly and I got in the water and I had the biggest temper tantrum and the water is rushing by me and I remember this, my legs were freezing and I was sobbing and I was thinking, if I don't let it go now, I'm gonna implode. And that's the same feeling of a Mars and Capricorn stoic, you know, denial energy. We want to soften that and let it go, a little at a time. All right, if you like the conversation, please let me know. Leave your comments. You can find me on YouTube, on Facebook, and on my website, Astrology Channel ETC.